Welcome back. You're live with Express. So time to broach something very serious, but I think something also quite inspirational. Today, many people along the Eden District and Garden Route will be somberly remembering the absolutely devastating fires that wiped out so many areas on this very day. I mean, look at that. Just one year ago. But more importantly, it's uh, all those people that are still feeling the effects of that disaster a year on. There have been countless relief efforts aid fundraising models that have gone towards rebuilding the region but a lot still remains to be done and that's why we have georgina avlonitis the head of programs at green pop an urban greening and restoration initiative joining us to tell us a bit more about the upcoming eden festival of action i love the sound of that because <laughs> this is the time for action it's one thing to to embrace a community during the time of struggle but a year on, you know, it's no longer stealing the headlines. There is no longer this mass drive of will towards that. We need action now more than ever. Absolutely. Yeah, and the dust has settled now, so it's a good time. Um, you've got a big job on your hands. How did the Festival of Action and the Eden District, how did this all come about? So Green Pop's actually been running the Festival of Action in Zambia for the last six years. Um, oh, wow. So we're continuing our project work there, but our phones did not stop ringing. Um, and so, of course, we realized we had to bring the action along to the garden route. And for the first time, we're having our festival of action on home shores. Um, and we're very excited to be getting engaged in the area. How are you engaging in the area? What sort of activities will be taking place? How do you guys as Green Pop actually operate? So we are partnering with there's so much incredible work being done on the ground. And what Green Pop does is we organize a festival of action, so it's a multifaceted action-oriented um, um, activity. Three weeks, so over the first two weeks are for um, our school goers, so from 13 to 19. Right. And the last week is our adult week, or all ages week. And we're going the to photos, be... you're not behaving like adults. It looks no, like, like the, uh, uh, actually have, a huge amount of fun. We yeah. have a lot of fun. So planting thousands of trees, um, creating incredible upcycled uh, useful structures out of uh, bio bricks, um, painting amazing murals and turning disused public corners into places of engagement um, and getting all sorts of insights from amazing experts in the field, um, awesome workshops and expert-led talks and think tanks. Yeah. Because it's, it, it's a golden opportunity when passing through a gateway like this. Firstly, and I love the fact that you guys go so much further to motivate the community that you're connecting with. So that's one level, but you need sustainable um, growth in those areas and rehabilitation. Um, it, how are you guys achieving that? What are the focus areas when you look at those workshops and the long-term goals of what you're doing through this festival? Absolutely. Well, this is a, this is a three-week in terms of just plugging in and initiating plant, action. Plant, plant, plant. Yeah. Plant, plant, plant. So getting a whole lot of hands and action on the ground. Um, so we bring all the people and the hands and the hearts and the heads um, to the area. And then, obviously, this is our first time working along the garden route. So we are seeding all these amazing partnerships with people currently working um, and local NGOs and CSOs, community-oriented organizations. And I think this is the start of a wonderful long-term ongoing relationship with them in terms of continuing our work in the area. Um, and we see all sorts of industry spring out of this as well, which is an amazing thing. And that's going to feed back into the, the broader model in that community. The most important question is how do we as the broader public who maybe can't get down there to plant, plant, plant um, and have fun, how do we support Green Pop and, and your efforts? Well, of course, there's always a way to donate trees. Money, money, money. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you can um, go straight onto our website. There's all sorts of ways that you can contribute. Um, if you're in the area, there's amazing open days. And of course, we still have tickets available for the Festival of Action. Um, but yeah, just log in um, to our website and donate some trees. I just want to ask very quickly, how many trees do you think you'll plant over this period from your experience and past efforts? How many trees do you think you'll be able to So we're working see? in incredible areas. So we're going to be re um, reforesting then one of the Nisna Heads, which is that iconic, wow. iconic area in, 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 in the area, as well as Phantom Forest and another area called Heartlands. Um, and we're thinking for this festival of action around 5,000 trees. 
which is very exciting. 5,000 in... All being lovingly grown at the oh, moment. I love that. And we film in that area so much. So um, I just really appreciate what you're doing. Thank you so much for that. Go to greenpop.org for all of the details. The Green Pop Eden Festival of Action kicks off from the 23rd of June to the 15th of July with the schools weeks taking place over that 23rd to the 8th of July. And then all ages week going from the 8th to the 15th of July. But you can get all of that information, as I said, greenpop.org. Georgie, Georgina, Gina, um, well done. This is really, really awesome and, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>